Miss Richo here and Miss G. Today Hi. we're going to be talking about um, how you do your back stand. So we've measured in here 25 mil. We're going to have the bend there. That's where we're going to cut over there. We don't put it in really high. Why? Why don't we put it in high? Because when we're What's going to happen? When we're cutting, it's going to bend back and forth, oh. which means it could snap. And it's very noisy. And it is very noisy. So what we want to do is pinch the top with our two fingers. Oh, and we're going it. to put it nice and low in the vise. And I noticed that you've got the line right next to there as a guide. Absolutely. Good idea. Makes it easier. All right. And then when we're cutting, we're going to grip the coping saw with both of our hands. And we're going to go back and forth, not forcing the blade because otherwise it'll get stuck and you don't want to bend and break the blade. So we're going to go nice and gentle, back and forth. Only a little bit of force to push it down. One thing that we noticed when we were looking at it and this line is actually a little bit crooked. The reason it's a little bit crooked is because the blade is actually bent slightly. If you have a look here. Okay, so what we want to be doing is checking our blades to make sure that they're nice and straight. So we've got another blade here and we've made sure that they are nice and tight and you can see that one's a little straighter. We should get a nice clean cut. All right guys, so what we're going to do is put this in the vise, okay, and we are wanting to cut this line here. So I'm actually going to rotate my piece and make sure that this cut edge is actually secured in the vise. So then it really takes away any chance of it shaking and cracking off. One thing you really do need to be careful of, okay, is because this is hanging out a lot, it may snap. So you need to really let the blade do the work here and be very gentle. All right, so we're going to start again, scoring it while going forward. So when you score your piece, it makes it easier to cut because it has a little line in here. All right, and another tip that you can use is actually using your fingernail here. Okay, and you can line it up. So do you want to have a go at that, Miss G? Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. All right, now okay. again, letting the blade do the work, holding with both hands and just back and forth. With this part, guys, the way you can tell that you've sawed it properly is that you should be able to lift the blade like this straight out. So that you're going back and forth as you're coming up so then you don't snap the blade. Pinch both of these pieces that I've cut because this will be loose now. Loosen it in my vise, bring it up and you should have a pretty straight cut. Feel the biggest part in the vise and we're going to cut off this tiny little piece here. Do you know what I like? You can really tell the difference between the blade, mm -hmm. can't you? The bent blade was that top part and now it's nice and straight. All right, so guys, we're going to put this in. Now the angle that I'm going to put this in is I'm going to line up this line with the side of the vise. That is going to be a guideline. Doesn't matter that it looks a bit wonky when you put it in. That is just going to help us keep that straight line down. So, so we're always cutting downwards. Gripping the handle with both hands, going to score. Now this is gonna be on an angle, so a little bit harder. How I score is I go on an angle on one of the edges and then do that once. Okay, so it scores it. Then I reline up and then score it straight. Okay, and again, Backwards, forwards, let the blade do the work. Don't put the pressure because the blade will bend. Actually, Miss Richo, can you see that in the camera? Mm-hmm. If your blade push, is bending. See, if you're pushing too hard, some students tend to push on here and that'll just break the blade straight All right. Off. Okay. So that's why we have a handle. Both hands mm -hmm. and back and forth.